Hi everyone, Claire here. Um, I've been very quiet for a while. Um, I've got some really exciting news. Uh, Graphic 45 have mailed me and asked me to be their December featured artist on their blog. So I've gone into hibernation making new projects um, for their feature on me. Um, but I did think, just as a quick something, I'd show you how I made my little toilet paper Christmas mini, um, which I've made out of the Kaiser Craft papers. Really quick little project, took about three hours, and let me just show you what it looks like, and then I'll take you through what I used and how I made it. So very simple. Every page has got a little pull-out tag and then a photo mat on the back. And that photo mat takes a um, 3 by 2 photograph. Let me just slip one in and show you. This is my gorgeous son. Oops. I've got a bit of a thing about putting, here you go, putting real size photographs in, standard size photos I should say, that are either 6x4, 7x5, um, and this one is 3x2. And I think that looks really good. Let's take him out again. And my girlfriend. And slip that back in there. Oops. Just turn it over. Every little page has got um, an insert on the back. And the inserts came with the papers. I did make the tags and I'll show you how I did those at the end of the video. Um, but very quick and simple and very reasonable as well. I know all these things cost um, quite a bit. But this was one paper pad and I could probably have made, I don't know, six of these, which make great little presents. Um, with the exception of the tags that came with the paper at the back of the pad. Those were limited, but then you could make your own. Oops. So that's it. So let me take you through how I've um, started it off and what you need to make it. And if you want to follow along, um, have fun. Five toilet rolls, squashed, and I actually iron mine. How sad is that? But um, it does make them nice and flat, so I just give them a quick run over and then put them in packs of five and I collect loads of them. I've got quite a few people giving them to me, so um, they're all stacked away in fives. So you need five of those and then um, ten pieces of paper. Now the paper I'm used, I used for this is the Kaiser Craft. December the 25th. Really like their papers. This is the six and a half by six and a half pad. And the nice thing about Kaiser Craft is if you buy the pads, you get their embellishments at the back as well. And I've used those to finish off the pages in my album. Um, lovely colours. So that's what I've used. And I've cut ten pieces of paper, different papers, and they are eighth of an inch shorter or smaller all the way round than the actual toilet paper roll itself. So there's ten of those. And then uh, for the inserts, I've cut five. pieces of card that are four inches long by 2.9 inches wide and that just fits inside my um, toilet roll. I would measure your toilet rolls because I've noticed because I collect so many they all come in different sizes so it doesn't seem to be a standard size so uh, just measure before you start cutting out. So there's five of those, those are for the inserts. I've also cut five photo mats. You know I'm completely addicted to putting photos of 
standard sizes into my albums. So I've cut out five two and a quarter by three and a quarter inserts. These are going to go on the back of the tags, like that. And I found a new punch to do that with, new corner punch. Um, I found it in a little tiny shop in Cornwall. Unfortunately, I have no idea where you get one from, so you just have to keep your eyes peeled and see if you can find one if you wanted to. But it cuts a really nice little corner that looks great with the photos in. So I've got five of those. I've got five backing papers for the inserts. Again, you'll need to measure them because it, the size of those depends on the size of your inserts and that depends on the size of your toilet rolls. So um, I would just measure and just make sure that your backing, if you're following what I do, is slightly smaller than the photo mat. And then using my favourite Stampin' Up large tab punch, I've cut five tabs that are going to go on the inserts in different papers. And I've cut using my EK Success punch, love this punch, the extensions to go on the ends of the toilet rolls. So I've cut five of these out and they look like that. Okay, so let me take you through how I did it. So first of all I painted the toilet rolls with gesso and then once that was dry I went over them with, or the edges of them, with the acrylic paint dabber in the gold just to give a nice shiny edge and I did that on both sides. Once that was dry I took the red, this is red pepper dabber and just ran it along the edge of the toilet roll just to give um, a red finish because this is a Christmas mini I don't know if you can see that but it just gives a very fine red edge and I did that with all five of the toilet rolls so they've got red edges top and bottom and I left them to dry Stick down all the sticky out bits, ladies, before you um, start working. It makes it much neater. And there's always a few inside the toilet rolls. And then to cut the corners, or the extension bits that I use, I cut a piece of card which is three by four inches. And then with the back side of the punch, I put one corner in and punched out the shape and then I turned it over and put the second corner in and did the same. And then, I don't know if you can see but I've actually marked it. What I wanted it to do was to stick out of the end of the toilet roll. So then I put the toilet roll across the card, trying to get an even distance either side here, and then I drew a line just inside the edge of the toilet roll down which I was going to cut. So let me find my scissors, oh here they are. So let's just cut down there, down there. It's all very caggy handed, I'm sorry that out and then do the same for the other four corners but use the first one as a template. Before you do that just check that it does actually fit inside your toilet roll. That's it. So you just want it to fit in there like that. Quite tightly. So cut out four more and then um, because I was using the gold 
the gold disappeared into the uh, the card. So I gessoed them both sides, and then on this one I painted the gold over the top. I did that before I cut them out actually, but you can cut them out and gesso them it, and paint them. It doesn't matter which order you do it in. And here they all are. So they're all more or less the same size. And then I've put double-sided tape across that bottom edge, along here and along there, and that's what's going to stick inside the toilet roll. Then I put them all together. They're a bit fiddly. So I line them all up with the curvy bits together. Can't do it. Um, let's do it that way. And then I hole punch through the end there and put eyelets in each one. So they've all got a little eyelet in. And then I put double sided tape around the bottom on both sides. So the next thing to do is take the tape off. Move that out of the way and line up piece number one. Just push it in. Get it where you want it. Line it up like that and then press down to secure it in. And then using that one as the template, so they all match, do the same for the others. So let's take the tape off the next one. Oops, thought I had it then. Pop it in. And then before you press down, Line it up with the first one. Can you see? I just want to move that a little bit. That's that one. And then press that one down. And then just repeat that until they're all in. <laughs> Who is it that uses a little knife to pull this backing paper off? I even get in a mess trying to do that. But. Okay, next one in. Line it up. Just push it in a bit further. And then squash down. So there they all are. I'm finished with the end bits on. Next I'm going to put the papers on. So I've already cut the papers out, as I said, just one eighth of an inch shorter than the width and the length of the actual toilet roll. And I've inked the edges just with um, vintage photo, my favourite, and then I've run the red dabber along each one of them just to give a hint of red to each of the papers. So now I'm going to stick those onto each of the flat sides. So let's get on and do that. So that's the first one. Mm. 
I'm going to have the cover, back, back cover and the front cover the same and then swap everything around inside. So let's just get them all the right way. So here's the front one and that's the back one. It's all a bit tiny isn't it? I think mean, it's really large now. Okay, so let's stick them down. My tape gun's lost its squeak again, which is great. Don't speak too soon now. A little bit in the middle. Okay. So. I really miss having people to talk to when you're whoops, doing something because I'm not sure if most of you know but I did teach for 10 years at our local college and we had an absolute ball. I taught um, cake decorating, advanced and basic cake decorating to between 12 and 16 ladies really. Um, every term for 10, um, 10 years we used to have an absolute laugh. It was brilliant and I really miss that. Just talking to a camera just isn't the same. I really like these papers and they're a lovely quality, lovely feel. Let's turn it over, put the next one on. I'll do this one and then I'll um, speed everything up. As, uh, tedious as watching paint dry, watching someone stick pieces of paper down. <laughs> so let's put that one on there, like that. And uh, let me just speed up, do the rest, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so here they all are, all finished with their papers on both sides. And the next step is to do the inserts and what I've done is cover one side of the tag with a piece of paper and that was left over from the um, cutouts that covered the front and back pieces and then on the reverse side I've put a photo mat that fits a 3 by 2 photo. So with the photo mats Cut them out, the size for that is three and a quarter by two and a quarter, and then I've just inked the edges and the very corners of each one of them, and then I've run around them with the gold dabber just to give them a bit of detail. And now I'm going to stick them all down. So let me show you what I did for that. I'll do one. And then whiz forwards. So stick all around the edges. Don't forget a little bit in the middle. Let me just poke under any little bits of tape, glue tape that is sticking out. Oh, I know why I've done that. I haven't put my glasses back on. I'm getting old. Okay, and then take your insert, let's just grab this one, and what I did was I lined the paper up with the very bottom of the tag, like that, 
and then I took one of the tabs and then just um, put some glue either side of that. This is just cheap tacky glue from my local craft store. Smooth it down. And then I just fitted that underneath. Folded it over and stuck it down. Put the tab at the top. Just turn it round so I can see it. And then turn over and then I used the tacky glue again and just stuck around the corners, not over the corners, because otherwise you can't get the photos in. A little bit up the middle, turned it over, I'll try and do this upside down, and then place it in the middle and stick it down. And let me just find the photo. I haven't got a Christmas photo, but this is my lovely son Ollie and his girlfriend at their prom ball. Let me just show you how that fits in. As I say, I don't know where. Oh, it's not going to do it now. Let me turn it around and do it the right way. I don't know where you get the punch from. Um, anywhere really but that just fits nicely you could use the um, slot punch that I've got or just cut if you fold the corners over and just did a little cut across the corner that would work I'm sure um, but I just thought that fitted really nicely and it holds the photos secure as well so let me finish off the other just take that out finish off the other three and then we'll put them together So here they all are, covered with their little tabs inside, and I've put them all together, finished the tabs off, and now I'm just going to put some decorations on. So as I said, the nice thing about the Kaisercraft collections, their 6x6 collections, is it comes with all the little tags at the back and um, cutouts, so I'm going to use them now and decorate um, put some little pockets on each of these front pages and decorate my little book up. Um, so I've selected about 10 little tags and I'm going to stick those into the book and then for the cover I've cut the 25 out from the Tim Holtz Alterations, what's it called? Um, there it is, the Vintage Noel. I had a birthday recently and had lots of new dyes, loads of spooky ones and um, quite a lot of the Christmas alterations ones. So I've used the 25 from that and uh, I'm going to put these on and then I'll come back and show you the finished little book. And here it is, the finished um, toilet paper mini. I've added the ribbons and uh, let me just, oops, <laughs> take you through each page. I've put a few tags in and uh, as you've seen, that every page has got the pull out um, tab for photos. It's so quite cute and uh, quite a nice little present. It's probably taken, I don't know, three hours to make, no more, and uh, it's a really fun little project to make. And there's the back, turn it over. I should move it over really, shouldn't I? So there you go. Thanks ever such a lot for watching and I'll speak to you soon.